So when setting up your squat, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is determine what type of a squat you wanna do with the Kabuki bar. So the transformer has the ability to change. You can shift all these different movement patterns, goblet, front, safety, squat, back one and two, and then hinge. Choose which one you wanna do, and that's gonna impact where the load ultimately goes. Once you're there and you've got it set up, I use a monolift system when I lift, which is just an amazing way to keep everything safe. But regardless of whether or not you're using one or a normal uh, J cup, you're gonna wanna get yourself in the same varying position. So I start at the ground, I start with my feet. Determine where your squat stance is before you even lift off the ground. From here, I take my hands onto the handles, I pull and I retract my scapula, and I engage my anterior pelvic tilt. So now my low back and my upper back is tight. From this position, I press straight up. As you can see, the monolift arms retract. Now I'm ready to squat. When I go into the squat, I drive my knees over my toes. I come down to 90 parallel and complete my repetition. So that's how you squat with the Kabuki.